Thanks for following along on our adventures. If you'd like to plan a magic vacation of your own, please subscribe to our channel and reach out to us on Facebook at Paul and Ashley Magic Vacation Planners. Next on the tour is the National Museum of Bermuda. Um, we are walking into the center of the fort, which is also another thing that we've never done before. Also, sometimes people ask us if they want to go somewhere where they can swim with dolphins. You can swim with dolphins here in Bermuda, right in the, in the donkey yard. Right? This cool. is the ticket. All right, let's go in. All right, so. We uh, paid to come into the museum, which again is an old fort from the, I believe, late 1600s. Yeah, 1609, Bermuda, yeah. And it uh, cost $15 per adult. Didn't catch how much children were. No, they were free. Well, I think children under three were free. But um, yeah, let's head on in. Whew. Wow. 16th and 17th century. Incredible. Some of the artifacts in here are amazing. Let's take a closer look. So this is an interesting fact that there are actually over five um, vessels that have been shipwrecked here that are over 500 years old. And all these little red dots are shipwrecks. Um, absolutely incredible. So the waters of Bermuda is surrounded by like a system of reefs. Which at the time they didn't see or know about, so that's how they ran aground. And it's just so much shallow water. And it's it's really difficult for these ships to navigate if they're not familiar or like their charts are not correct. When you sail in and out of Bermuda, you can actually see it, the way that the water changes from different colors and different shades of blue. Um, it's really cool, and you can actually kind of see the reefs beneath you. Um, so a lot of the artifacts that are in this museum are from those uh, shipwrecks. But if you want to look at the map, I can kind of show people, like, around. Oh, okay. So over here, this is, like, the dockyard area where we are right now. The pink sand beaches are along the south coast over here. So, like... Elbow Beach, Warwick Long Bay, Horseshoe Bay, um, Sinky Bay is where um, the Hamilton Princess Beach Club is. And then in here is where the city of Hamilton is. So yesterday we took the ferry this way into the city. And then up this way, this is the airport, all the way on the other side of the island. And then Tobacco Bay is way over here. And the Crystal Caves. And the Crystal Caves is like somewhere in this location. Ashley Actually, knows the her. Crystal, the Crystal Caves is over here. And then this is like Grotto Bay where we were yesterday. Ashley so, sure does know her Bermuda geography. I do. I feel like we've been here enough that I have like a really good idea of it. So that's why taking a taxi is so expensive if you want to go from this tip of the island all the way to Tobacco Bay. It's a fortune. It's about a ninety dollar tax ride, taxi ride each way. Uh, but Bermuda does have fabulous transportation for the ferry system and the bus system. Um, in the past, so we were here on a Sunday in off season. So the ferry from uh, the dockyard over here over to St. George was it's closed right now. They don't run on Sundays and they don't run in the off season. But in the past, we have done that ferry ride. It's probably about an hour, 50 minutes or so. And that's a beautiful um, 
port like area. It's a really just nice reminds town me in of, like, general. Like, old town, like yeah. all the buildings are just like pink and yellow and blue and green, and kind of reminds me of Cuba in a sense, like. Oh, because like, you've been to Cuba before. I've seen pictures, okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is cool how they show the different types of ships uh, during the time. That was a caravel. They had a carrick. A neo. And a galleon. Looks like a really big one. Um, the amazing thing is they got tons of artifacts here, um, just, you know, from pots and pans and plates and bowls to hooks and chains, belt buckles, uh, hairpins, uh, those are dress buttons right there, really cool. Look at those spears, spearheads. Small anchor. Fascinating. One and two. Brass dividers up there. I've got some more things here. Oh wow, is this jewelry? Yeah, gold. Wow. They said a lot of it is ships had lots of gold and treasures, jewelry. Um, Looks like bricks of gold too. Also like tobacco, cocoa, things like that because they wanted to trade and find other countries that they could trade with. Oh, Paxton. These cans, bullets. Oh. I look like shirts that are for sale and towels. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. But it's not a rabbit. If you do that, I would have hero. It's okay. I'll see if I can. Yeah. Uh, Twenty four fifty. I mean, after you've done the Dolphin Quest, it'd be cool to grab a shirt like that, you know? And you can see the photos after. Nice little setup. All right, we found some dolphins. Ashley's happy about it. Accent. Has no clue. She's like, what's that noise? Anything else you might have having fun? So cool. Oh, that was beautiful, Marley. Better than I'm going to grab it. I know.
Bye. Bye. Oh, everybody, thank you so much for coming. We can go ahead and fix the water. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The dolphin waved its tail and he We spoke to one of the trainers and she said that there's a total of 12 and there's some family packs. There's a mom here and uh, her two daughters and they've actually been training them to go through and out into the ocean uh, to, and to come back and stuff, which is cool. Yeah, she said each day the dolphins get to go out into the open ocean. Uh, so far four of them are trained to do that and uh, it's actually harder to train them to leave than it is to come back because yeah. she said this is like the Hilton. And that's like camping. And once they go out there, they die and they come back. They want to here. come back. So, pretty cool. Uh, this does look small, but there are um, gateways where the dolphins can swim under from one pod to the other. And then inside, it's like a huge pool for them. Yeah. You can't really see it from this. Yeah, it's a bad angle, but. Maybe you can kind of see it. We are now in the boat loft. Um, it's actually a whaling pot where they would boil the whale fat down. Um, these are dinghies from the course of Bermuda history, uh, but really cool that they uh, utilize this space to show these old types of boats in here. It's like the evolution of dinghies. Definitely, these are cool. This one's old. 1897. What light was A progress of power. That is cool how they just, you know, an island. 1904 is when they got electricity. Wow. Bermuda Electric Light Power and Traction Company. I mean, that wasn't even that long ago, if you think about it. Yeah, 100 years, give or take. 120 almost. Just like basic everyday, I mean obviously like blenders and things like that aren't everyday needs, but like fans, light bulbs, absolutely. An old electricity pole. Wow. They've come a long way. And they're called Kiteman. Uh, up top are uh, boat engines, boat motors. You can see them um, along the front. Uh, you do have to take steps to go up there, so with the stroller, it's just not. Uh, not possible. There's a couple more boats up there I noticed too, but we can uh, keep the tour moving. Not really sure what's down here. It's called High Cave. There's like a lagoon grotto. Prisoners in Paradise. There. 
limestone. So this looks like the jail. So Some live sheep. Packy, what do you think of the sheep? Sheep. <laughs> Take your picture. Paxton. Packy, where did she go in? The sign on the gate said, please close gate. Sheep gate. But I didn't really think there were sheep. Go see that cannon. This is the um, Vickers machine gun um, with a hole dug in through the mountain. You can't really see, but you can actually see the cruise ship from here. But there were people coming, and they actually had a this clean is shot. So cool! Like, it's such um, a good view. And there's little windows everywhere. I mean, they have them cut out. You have a, another cannon here. You got one there, another one here, and another one there. I like the wrenches, massive. So what a fantastic uh, fort! I mean, this is just incredible. Another one here, and out into the ocean. If there was a, uh, a ship coming and they lined it up, man, were they in trouble. If you can see it. Got Royal Caribbean. I feel like seeing it on camera doesn't really do it justice, but like it's so good. It's such a good shot. Like I can see the buoy from here. I can. Yeah, it's too sunny so that you can't even really see out the window on the camera. Cannonballs. Oh, you're fine. No, not really that way. They're coming! They're coming! Send it says handicap, but... I guess we gotta take the stairs anyways. Wow, look at that cannon. And that one. That was a huge... The boys would love this. This is a great thing to do with, like, you know, families that... Or, like, grandparents if they don't want to do the beach. Yeah. I feel like you can easily spend... Half, half a, day. a day. Easy. All right, where to next? I'm going to try go to go there. up here. Yeah. All right, let's go. You can see them from the outside. Look at the little holes. Yeah. Crazy. And they had it covered. I mean, every single, you notice how these uh, holes are actually shorter than their cannons here. I mean, they're higher. So, like, if they shot it, it would go above that. You can't even see these cannons in uh, inside. Smart. All right. We are just getting into the commissioner's house. And we got some creepy mannequins. So it's supposed to represent slaves. Wow, this is nice. Wouldn't it? I know. Well, this is great how they talk about uh, Africa and the Slave Coast. And I feel like it's important to educate and talk about uh, that bad moment in history um, so children can know about it and how awful and wrong it was and learn from it and learn that there's no room for racism and hatred in this world. 
We have a whole room here dedicated to the Portuguese. Uh, they have a map here of the islands of the Azores. Uh, this is actually where my family's from, St. Michael. Anyone not familiar? I am Portuguese. My family is from the Azores, so this is cool to see the connection between Bermuda and the Azores and Portuguese, uh, Portugal as a whole. All right, we just came up the stairs to the second floor, and this is the commissioner's room. Yes, this is my dream, is always to have a dining room like this. How many seats? I stopped counting at 36. No. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 34 seats. This would be perfect for our family. It's what we need. 34 seats. Thanksgiving, Christmas, dinner. It's a big room. It's a big table. This is awesome. Oh wow, you can have private functions in here as well. That is really cool. Beautiful artwork along the hallways. U.S. Forces collections, the U.S. Navy room. Smaller table. Royal Navy Collections, a Malabar room. Beautiful. What is this? Ace room, long tail, a Bermuda resident. Oh, that's the uh, bird native to the island. That's cool that they have, uh, have this highlighted here as an entity within the museum. I've seen this bird around and I'm like, what kind of seagull is that? It's really cool. And out here is the moneymaker. This is beautiful. Uh, so here out uh, within the uh, fort is the Frog and the Onion Pub. Great restaurant. They have both indoor and outdoor seating. Uh, huge menu, plenty of different dining options, um, food options uh, within the restaurant. Uh, but this is a nice little walk area um, to head back out towards the shopping. And um, yeah, just a beautiful space. You can tell this is the old uh, run-down parts of the fort, a lot of it, you know, the roof is open uh, and exposed to the inside. Uh, it does have a danger keep-out sign, as you can see, there's tons of rubble and debris in there, so um, probably catch a nail to the foot if you walk through that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the fort here in Bermuda, and... Uh, $15 a person. You don't actually need to pay to walk through this area or even go to the restaurant. Um, once you go through um, the entrance to the museum, 
uh, is there. And then for point of reference, that is the commissioner's house that we walked into. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.